This is episode 7 of Good News TV, where I'm going to be bringing a piece of local good news, a piece of national good news, and a piece of global good news. So, first and foremost, this week was Mental Health Awareness Week 2024. Um, so, I know myself and other people were doing like lots of things in work, and um, but also in our own personal life to kind of promote Mental Health Awareness Week. Um, and this, I guess, is like kind of one of the reasons why I've been doing these videos because it helps our mental well-being when we hear good things that are going on in the world um, around us locally and around us on more of a global scale as well. So I guess there's a nice link there. Um, so the piece of local good news is actually kind of aligned with that this week. And it's about, um, there's a place in Liverpool called the Bondog Church, which is quite, quite famous. And um, there's a dancer from Liverpool called Laura Macy, who is hosting a... Um, event for Mental Health Awareness Week. All donations is going to serve as a fundraiser, and all donations from this event will be going to the Mental Health Foundation, who have been like big promoters of Mental Health Awareness Week. They're like a, a, a well known charity across the UK. Um, so the the aim of of this event is all about movement. It's bringing some of the art, singing, dancing. Um, the, and the theme of Mental Health Awareness Week this year actually was around movement and the benefits movement can have on our mental well-being, which we know are also very, very beneficial. So there's going to be an event run across the weekend um, that's going to host local dancers and also local choirs, including Liverpool Inspirational Voices. They are a visually impaired choir, Liverpool Indie Choir and Crosby Pop Choir. So I will attach the link to this video in case you wanted to donate um, or, or get tickets to that event. The piece of national good news for this week, um, this is something that actually happened at the weekend, just gone, um, but it had to be on here because it's just amazing. The Aurora Borealis was seen across the UK, um, it included, including Liverpool, but this is the national piece of good news because it was seen it was able to be seen from places in Scotland, North England, North Wales and Northern Ireland. Um, and that's just incredible and like totally unheard of. I was very fortunate to be able to see it as well. Um, and I mentioned recently in another video that I've been on a trip to Canada. We actually visited the planetarium where they told us what the Aurora Borealis actually was and, you know, how it happens and and why it sometimes happens but I think even knowing that you know there is an actual scientific explanation for it it's still so incredible to see and there's just something so magical about watching lights dance across the sky and um, so that was really really amazing I know that you know some friends and family were able to see that as well but equally it was enjoyed across the UK so that's the national piece of good news and the piece of global good news for this week um, is about a people in a school in Zambia um, who is spreading the word about climate change and climate action um, in sign language, which is incredible. So this is from the Associated Press. Um, they released an article about an 18-year-old girl called Bridget Chandra who is educating fellow peoples about climate change um, in sign language. It's no, it, it, you know, it's no secret that not only globally, but certain parts of Africa are facing more extreme weather. This has actually prompted the Zambian government to introduce climate education into the school curriculum. Obviously, you know, young people are growing up um, into the world and having more and more responsibility about climate action and, you know, the kind of world we want to live in. Um, so... In a school in, in northern Zambia where Bridget attends, there's many students that are hard of hearing or deaf. So Bridget took it upon herself to act as an interpreter when the school is visited by climate and agri agricultural experts um, to empower them into action. So I thought that was a really lovely piece of good news to read about. You know, again, just, just an example of, of incredible things that are happening all around the world just by the acts of, of one person um, or a group of people. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed listening to those today and it makes you feel good and it makes you, you know, maybe want to do a small act of kindness or a small act of goodness yourself. Thank you.